Today we're going to be looking at clearing denominators from rational expressions, or more simply, clearing fractions. This is also sometimes called multiplying through. Let's start by looking at an example. 3x over 2 plus 5 is equal to 15 minus x over 2. To solve this, I'm going to be using the distributive property to clear the denominator of the fractions. I notice the denominators in both fractions is 2, so I'll be multiplying both sides of the equation by 2. Be careful that you distribute the 2 to each term in the equation. This is the place that I see the most mistakes. Simplifying that, I get 3x plus 10 is equal to 30 minus x. After that, you want to add x to each side, subtract 10 from each side, and then divide each side by 4, giving me a final answer of 5. To check this, I'm going to be plugging 5 everywhere I see an x in the original equation, and then simplify the expression. Always remember to check your problem with the original equation, not the one where you've used your distributive property, because if you made a mistake, you won't find it. As you can see, the problem checks. Now let's look at a slightly harder problem. x over 3 minus 5 is equal to x over 4 minus 2x. I'm going to do this problem two ways, once without clearing the fractions and once with. To do this problem without clearing the denominators, I would first need to get a common denominator so that I could combine the terms on the right. That denominator would be 4, and when I subtract I get x over 3 minus 5 is equal to negative 7x over 4. Then, of course, I would subtract x over 3 from both sides of the equation. Again, I'm going to need to get a common denominator. In this case, it would be 12. And when I combine like terms, I will get negative 5 is equal to negative 25x over 12. Next, I'll need to multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of negative 25 over 12. And that would give me x is equal to 12 over 5, or 2 and 2 fifths. I didn't have any problems solving this problem, but I would prefer to have used the distributive property to clear the denominators of the fractions. So going back to my original equation, first I would have to multiply each side of the equation by 12, since 12 is the smallest number both 3 and 4 divide into. This is also the least common multiple. Once I've made sure I've multiplied to both terms, I get 4x minus 60 equals 3x minus 24x. Again, I need to simplify the right-hand side of the equation to negative 21x, and then I would need to subtract 4x from both sides of the equation, giving me negative 60 is equal to negative 25x. Then I would divide each side by negative 25, and when I reduce that fraction, I get 12 over 5, or 2 and 2 fifths, just like I did before. Clearing the denominators can often make a problem easier to work with.